Oh, uh, hey guys, it's Rob Buck here, and I'd just like to say that I finally got the time to create this uh, Demon Creator Contest 2 results video. It took a really long time to edit, or not that long, but it took an average amount uh, of time uh, to edit and stuff. So if you could just please uh, leave a like, um, it, I'd really appreciate it. Um, I'd also like to shout out Ryder for just uh, helping me decide some of the things for the video and <clears throat> help uh, decide some of the winners and stuff. He just made it a little bit easier for me. So just shout out for him. And I'd like I'll also like to thank everyone who entered. I got a little over 100 entries, uh, which means a lot to me that 100 plus people just want to join one of my useless contests that I created. Um, but yeah, I had a, I chose 10 levels uh, for the winners, and it was pretty hard, because uh, pretty much every level had their strengths and weaknesses. Every level was really good. Uh, but yeah, choosing 10 out of 100 plus, it was really, really hard. There were a ton of great levels uh, that probably deserve a spot, but um, yeah, this is mostly opinion-based in, uh, in my opinion, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, without further ado, let's get into the top 10 results. Okay, for the uh, number 10 spot, uh, we have Labnity. I don't know how to pronounce that. I think that's right. Um, by Joe2000. Um, I don't. Uh, this level is just really creative, as you can see. All this toxic themed uh, parts of the level. It just. It creates a good feel for the level and like all this acid and stuff it just it's really good and the drop right here it's just really like since this was a level posted uh, at the start of or the beginning of the 2.0 update it was pretty uh, cool because um, it was one of the first levels to have one of these kind of backgrounds so it just creates a cool feel to the level and yeah I don't really have anything else to say about this level other than it is uh, really good the gameplay is um, quite it's it's okay it looks it doesn't look that bad uh but yeah overall this level is uh really cool the design is amazing and the gameplay is just it it's fine so uh the design makes up for that um but yeah i'll see you uh in the number nine spot Uh, um, so for number nine, uh, I chose Ecstasy by Matters because, like, I, I believe this could have been placed a little higher, uh, in the results, but, um, I think it could have just used a tad bit more design in some of the places. Um, but most of this level is just really amazing. It has really good effects. Uh, the song choice is pretty good. It goes with the level well. Um, there's a good use of 2.0 features such as like the green orbs and stuff uh, the gameplay doesn't look too bad uh, or cancerous or anything but yeah uh, this uh, level also uses a lot of color variety which is um, a really big strength in the level and I really like that um, anything else I don't I don't really think I have anything else to say about this level um, other than yeah it's just really good it has a good theme um and yeah that's why uh i chose it for the number nine spot um i'll see you in the next uh level Okay, all right. Uh, so for um, <clears throat> the number eight spot, we have uh, "Glittery Ruins" by Splenetic or Splenetic. Or I don't, I don't know, I don't really know how to pronounce that, but uh, I think I, I might have said it right. I, I don't. Know. Anyways, let's get to the uh, level. Um, this level is real, in my opinion. Like the gameplay is not too bad. It's like I don't know. It's it's just a regular demon level 
type of gameplay. Um, but the thing that stands that I really liked about this level is um, the portal effects and just the level in general, like the objects he uses. It goes really well with the sawing as well. Um, but I like how he makes the little icon and <clears throat> with a ring around it to replace the game mode portals, and he has a cool invisible portal effect, which uh, is, in my opinion, it just looks really cool. And no one's done it before, I don't think, at that at the time. So it just it created a really good feel for the level. It's not too long, but uh, yeah, that's why I chose this level for the number eight spot. Alright, uh, for the number uh, 7 spot, we have Chaotic System by Gyron David. Um, uh, now, the reason I chose this for 7, like, the design, as you can see, is just phenomenal and s such, but, you know, uh, the gameplay is kind of cancerous, like, uh, it's it just doesn't look fun, and people who play this, like, have played this level probably, like, didn't waste their time trying to beat this because due to the gameplay but as you can see um i made an auto version of this because of course i couldn't beat this cancerous level because i suck at this game but um uh yeah it, it just has re a really good design like gyron david he, he he wasn't really a, a really strong creator back in the day but this level just shows his true potential of creating and it just has everything about the levels of the design of the level is really good so that just makes up for the horrible gameplay um i don't really have anything other to say about this level but uh yeah it's just really good Um, alright, for the number, uh, six spot, we have Dance Massacre by Heinz. Um, now, the reason I chose this level for the number six spot, and it's, it just, so 2.0 came out, um, and a little while after the update released, Heinz created this level, and I saw a video of it, and it just caught my attention, because it, it, there's nothing too, like, it's not too messy or anything, it's just a simple, a level there's no fakes at all like all the game the gameplay is like just really good like it does there's no fakes there's no memorization needed to complete this level it just it's simple skill a skill based uh gameplay level and the design is just amazing it's a simple 2.0 design like there's nothing it's not all cramped up or in one place or anything it there's just a little bit of everything in each part it just makes it uh, one of the best 2.0 levels in my opinion um, and he uh, he takes advantage of most of the he takes advantage of the robot gameplay and creates a pretty challenging part out of that um, but otherwise this level is just a straight up amazing 2.0 level and just expresses the features of 2.0 in a co good way he uses coins and everything uh, but yeah that's why I chose this level for uh, the number six spot Um, Alright, uh, for number 5, uh, we have a pretty interesting level here. Um, we have Particle Accelerator by uh, Ancient Anubis. Um, now, the thing that caught my eye to this level was just how creative it was. And, like, no, like he used uh, the advantage of moving objects really well in this level. For example, these particles flying all over, um, as you can see. That's just really cool, uh, hence the name, Particle Accelerator. Accelerator. It just goes really well with the level. He also chooses a really uh, good song, uh, La Campanella or some, something. Um, it just goes really well with the level and the gameplay and stuff. And he, it, The sync is really good with the level. It just goes with the song really well. Um, uh, I don't really know what else to say. I mean high voltage part that's pretty cool it just adds a electrical field to that part and then this part has caught my eye too just atomic symbols everywhere it, it just it was really cool and then this star that was growing and then led to the drop of the level right here it just caught my attention that this level should be in the top 10 because 
it, it's one of the best levels, and in my opinion, one of the best 2.0 levels or demon levels uh, in the game. So yeah, that's why I chose uh, Particle Accelerator by Anubis uh, for the number five spot. Uh, Alright, for the number 4 spot, we have a really... This this level just... Once it came out, he... Uh, I forgot to introduce the level. Uh, this is Legendary by Yama Demon. Um, uh, but yeah, he came into my Twitch chat one time, and he, he said that he finished his uh, contest entry, so I played it, obviously. And it just... It blew my mind when I played it. Uh, the design was amazing, and I just... I copied the version just to see because I, you know, I suck at the game. I can't get that far in the level, so I copied it um, and just checked out the design and made an auto. That's what uh, this video clip is. Um, but yeah, I just um, I looked at the level in the editor and then made an auto version of it to see the whole level, um, so I don't have to beat it. And it just it blew my mind. Like the design and the gameplay was just amazing, and the objects that he uses just create a really good feel for the level uh, that's why I picked this one for uh, number uh, the number four spot um, all right for the number three spot um, I chose scream room by codex uh, now this level is not that long um, in length but the reason I chose this level for the number uh, three spot is because um, the way Codex creates and arranges his levels is just really amazing. And like the effects that he uses, it just creates a really good, cool feel to the level. Um, his gameplay isn't actually that hard either. It's actually pretty easy in my opinion. Even though I still can't beat it because I suck. Um, but yeah, just the style he creates and he uses a ton of different colors in the level. Um, which is cool and it creates a variety for the level unlike some others that stay on one color, sch uh, color scheme. Um, but yeah, I don't really have anything else to say about this level other than uh, it's it, it just stands out to me. And I just felt like it should be somewhere near uh, the top of the winner's list. So yeah. All right, uh, for the number two spot, uh, we have a this level, it doesn't look too like it looks kind of bland at the start of the level, black and white. Um, uh, we, I forgot to introduce it again. Uh, this is uh, Aero, Aro, Ario Shock by Zenthic Alpha and Orion or Anthrax. Or, he keeps changing it, changing his uh, username, so I don't know. It's kind of annoying, but yeah, Anthrax Orion. Um, but anyways, uh, this level it just seems bland at the start, and then once it gets to the drop, it just bursts with colors and different kind of designs and it's, it just really caught my eye and I felt like this should be somewhere like either first or really close to the top of the um, winners list uh, I don't really have anything other to say that um, uh, other than that this level is just really detailed and it deserves that number two spot so yeah Okay, finally, uh, for the number one spot, uh, we have Happy Days by Overzero and Hideo or Hideo or something. Um, I just had to choose this for the number one spot because uh, it just caught my eye. One, like, I, c I couldn't really get past the first part because, you know, I suck again. But um, I finally did and I saw the ship part and it just caught my eye a ton and I just thought it was really, really, really good. So I looked it up on YouTube for a video, and uh, of course it was there, so I watched it. I saw the whole level, and I, I just knew that this this had to be at least um, the winner of the contest, um, if not second place, third place, but I just felt like this had to go at the top because just the different blocks he uses, uh, they use and the colors and the effects, and the gameplay's not that bad either. It just creates one heck of a level and um, I don't really have anything other to say about this, but this level just totally deserves the number one spot. 
Um, uh, yeah, congrat- congratulations, Over Zero and Hydeo. I don't really know how to award you, uh, reward you yet, um, but I will think of something soon. So yeah. Uh, so before I leave you guys here, um, I just want to thank you all once again for entering my contest. Everyone who entered, all the 100 plus people, it just makes me so happy that that many people wanted to um, join my contest. And um, yeah, I just thank you everyone. Thank you, Ryder. Um, I'd also like to give a shout out to uh, my friend Charmai again, because he he's he really needs some subscribers. He's, he started a channel and stuff. So it, I'd be, really appreciate it if you went over and liked his videos and stuff. Um, I think he deserves a little boost to start it up his channel. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, thank thank you once again. I don't know, I don't know why I keep saying thank you. It it just means a lot. And I finally created this video, so I just feel really good about myself now. <laughs> now that I got the time to just get this video out there and edit it and stuff. But yeah, it took a it took a while. So again, if you could just like the video, I'd really appreciate it. Um. But anyways, I hope you all have a nice rest of your day or night or whatever, wherever you live, um, what time, whatever time it is. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, congratulations to the winners. Um, I don't really have any prizes organized uh, yet, um, but I'll try to think of something soon because um, one of the prizes or rewards or whatever um, was that your level would be sent to Rob Top Games uh, to be rated, but uh, pretty much every every single winner, um, plus a majority of the uh, levels that had that didn't win, uh, they're kind of already rated already. So I don't I don't know how that happened, but ev almost every entry is pretty much rated and featured in it, everything. So uh, Rob Top kind of ruined that uh, reward. Um, I don't th really think I have anything else to say. Um, but, uh, yeah. Oh, also one of the rewards was collaborating on, on a level with me. I don't know if that will happen. I'm getting kind of bored with creating, so, um, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please give it a like. Uh, comment your opinions. I don't know. Do you hate the winner's levels? Do you like them? Whatever. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, see you later.